What's up guys, welcome to the channel, Victor here again. I want to thank you so much for getting me to 20,000 subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. I'm sincerely grateful to you. If you're new here, please subscribe and give this video a like. And yeah, support my channel. Danke, merci, obrigado, CSC, arigato, nago de dalu, eshe. Thank you so much. I, I, I really appreciate it now. Thank you so much. Uh, as you can see from the title down below, this is just my quick match preview for the game between Nigeria and Netherlands at the 2019 on the 17th FIFA World Cup, which is currently being hosted in Brazil. The round of 16 level is, based, is the knockout stage, and at this level, you need to be very focused and determined to advance to the next round. Any mistake you make at this stage, you don't have any chance to correct again. You're definitely going to go home if you mess up at this stage, except you are Brazil because you are the host, and then you have to stay home and watch as other countries lift the trophy, sadly. Uh, this is just my quick preview for the game. Netherlands were not really impressive in the group, to be honest. They qualified as one of the best third place finishers from the group. Um, they qualified ahead of New Zealand because they had a better goal difference. Netherlands should not, should not have been here. Um, they started the group losing to Japan, three goals to nil. Then they lost to Senegal, three goals to one, although they scored first in that game. And in the final game, they had to come back to score more goals, defeating United States, four goals to nil. US has not been really impressive to qualify as one of the best top place finishers from the groups. And um, I was even surprised that Netherlands would misbehave in this competition or not perform better in this competition because they were actually European champions back to back in 2018 and in this year, 2019. So I was really surprised at the fact that they did not turn up in this tournament. But regardless, they have some really fantastic players. They have players like um, Anson, a very good player. They have uh, Jaden Braff. And they, are very, they can be a very dangerous team if they are underrated. Uh, remember the European Championship, which they won early this year, I think around May. They def defeated Italy, four goals to two in the final. They defeated Spain. And you know Spain are really good. They defeated Spain, one goal, one goal to nil. And... Uh, but coming to this tournament, they just turned off. And it's going to be interesting to see how Netherlands react in the round of 16. Because, of course, we know we have some teams that start really slow and they start really badly. But as the competition progresses, they just get better overnight and storm, take everybody by surprise all the way to the final. So let's see how that happens. For Nigeria, Nigeria were also not really impressive, but they were not too bad, to be honest. We started the competition. With a win against Hungary, four goals to two, coming down to from two one, coming from two one down to win that game, scoring three late goals in that game. The second game against Ecuador, we also defeated Ecuador three goals to two. Also coming from two one down to score two late goals to win that game. Ibrahim Said got the hat-trick for Nigeria in that game, and considering four goals in the first two matches was not really nice. It showed that we had defensive problems as a team. And um, I thought the coach was going to work on that for the last game against Australia. But because we have qualified, maybe some people might take that as an excuse. We lost the last group game to Australia, two goals to one. Australia actually needed that game, you know, to qualify to the next round. We lost that game, two goals to one. And, you know, the same issue we are called. Same issue with defense for Nigeria. Con considered two more goals in that game. So in total, we considered six goals at the group stage. Uh, two goals in each match. It showed that the defense actually needs a lot of work. They have been really poor, to be honest. But don't take away credit from the team in general. I think Nigerian team was... They have a lot of talented players in that squad. The attack in Nigeria is just too good. I'm Nigerian, but I'm not going to be biased. And I'm going to say the, the facts. Nigerian attack, the players are just too good. They would basically wear down any team in this competition, to be honest. If you can fix the structural issue and the issue with the defense, I think Nigeria... Should be one of the favorites to win this competition. But you know, we have lots of, lots of people doubting that this can happen, that we can actually win the competition. Looking at the fact that we are not really structured in terms of our play, defense, and attack. Um, they, ha they have a lot of people complaining at the, fa at the fact that we have a lot of loose passes, short passes, that we cannot make at least five, four passes well. Um, we have issues of some basically lack of structure in the defense where some defenders are trying to overlap and uh, always over underestimate the attack of the other opponents and we are caught on counter-attack 
giving cheap penalties. These are all issues that have come up. I've read you guys' comments and I clearly understand all these issues you are trying to raise. But also, you have to understand that um, it's also an argument for the team and for the coaching crew that these are under 17 players. They are bound to make mistakes. You know, even professionals make mistakes. So it's expected that under, under 17 players because they are still learning. They have not gotten to their best yet. They are still trying to develop. They have not reached their plateau. So it's definitely that they are going to make some mistakes. But hopefully, if you can correct your mistakes, it, that's the difference between champions and losers. So it's a bit interesting to see the outcome of this game. Um, but always, I, I would I always like to read your comments. You can let me know what you think about this match. I will try to read them and respond to them. And uh, if you feel that um, the boys are good enough, um, they have to turn around in this game against the Netherlands, to be honest. They have to just turn around against the Netherlands. They have to come out and actually show why they are world champions five times. Um, the issue about this, as of course, is that because the under-17 team changes at least every two years or so, um, it's difficult for you to replicate performance of the previous sets because this is a totally new team. And sometimes, in some cases, we also always have new coaching um, staffs. But uh, Manigaba, Nigeria's coach, is actually experienced. He has won this competition before in 2013 with the likes of Yena Cho, Yaya, Musa Mohamed, you know, Awuniyi, Isaac Promise, and the rest of them. Isaac Sources, I mean, and the rest of them. So, uh, the coaching crew are experienced, but, you know, they still have lack of discipline in the team. For Nigeria to defeat Netherlands, once they can work on all those parts, will be a threat to any team in this competition. Uh, in my personal opinion, I see Nigeria winning this game. I don't want to be biased. Um, this game is going to be high scoring, but I don't want to be biased. I see Nigeria winning this game three goals to one, simply because Netherlands have not been really outstanding in, in this tournament. You know, I'm going to predict Nigeria to win three one. Netherlands also considered still goals in this in the group stage, and they lost two games. So why not? Why can't Nigeria win this game? Of course, we are going to concede because, except miracle happens in that game, we, we are likely going to concede. Mm, but the players have to take this match seriously if they actually have any intent of becoming champions for the sixth time in this competition. Netherlands' best ever perform finish in the at the Under 17 World Cup was actually finishing third in 2005. That was that's the best ever performance. After that, they have already appeared two more times at the competition. Um, in 2011, I think, and 2013, and then both times they did not qualify out of the group. So, uh, it's been interesting to see the outcome of this game. The winner of the game between Nigeria and Netherlands will end up playing against Argentina or Paraguay at the quarterfinals. So, watch out for that game between Paraguay and Argentina, which we, uh, we played November 7th. And um, so we are in the side of the table that includes Angola, South Korea, Japan, Mexico, Paraguay, Argentina. So if Nigeria, for example, defeats Netherlands, if we defeat Netherlands, we will play against the winner of between Paraguay and Argentina. If we win that match, I'm still saying if, before you come for me, if we end up winning that match, we will play against the winners between Angola, South Korea, Japan, Mexico. If we win that match, and a very big if, <laughs> okay, I think I'm, I'm starting to stress this, but if we win that game, we are in the finals, you know, oh, what can I say, I just hope so, I wish I can actually, like, fast forward time to go into the future, probably one week into the future to look at the final match and come back to give you direct predictions, but I'm not perfect, the game between Nigeria and Netherlands can go anyway, and Netherlands can actually win this game and destroy Nigeria for goals to nil. I will not be surprised. I will not be surprised. I will be angry, but I will not be surprised. Nigeria can also play against the Netherlands and defeat Netherlands. It goes to new. I will be surprised and I will be happy if that actually happens. So this is like my quick pre um, match preview of the game. Uh, will I say quick because this is actually over nine minutes long right now. Um, so this is my reaction to the game basically. But what, what do you think? I'd like to hear from you. I'd like you guys to comment and tell me what you think about this game. Do you think Nigeria can actually win or defeat Netherlands in this game and advance to the quarterfinals? Or do you think this is the end of the road for Nigeria? What do you think? 
which players are, they, are you also expecting to start this game for Nigeria? Uh, do you would you prefer Ubani, um, Olusegun to lead the attack or Anamau to lead the attack against uh, Netherlands? Or are you looking at something different? Because I think Ola Yinka came in, in for Nigeria against Australia. He got the only goal in that match. And he, he actually did play well. Divine Wachuku is also there. Um, or do you think the coach should just stick to the team that won the first two games against Ecuador and against Hungary? Let me know what you think down below. I'll be sure to read your comments and reply them. Please don't forget to watch these videos here on my hand. And these videos here. And subscribe by clicking on this circle here. Just right here. Thanks for watching. Ademola Victor signing out. Saying bye. Take care. Thank you.